Good morning, it is Mac, proud owner of Cherry Bomb, and today we are going to start to rip those hubs and spindles and knuckles apart like I said I was going to do in the last video. We're going to go get some degreaser and clean them apart, figure out how they work, clean them all up, and get them ready to get painted. So whenever they go on the truck for the conversion down the road, they're going to look nice and good. So let's go on the road and go get some supplies. Here at Harbor Freight, and we're going to pick up a tarp so I can place it in my house so that I don't get my rugs all dirty and I can spread everything out. I think they've got some for like a dollar right now for Black Friday, so let's go inside. Alright, we had a successful time at Harbor Freight. Got a 50 pack of just shop towels and stuff to help clean up stuff. Got 220 grit, fine sandpaper. Got a little wire brush for scrubbing. And then I got a tarp, what is this, a 5x7 tarp. Now we are going to Dollar Tree to get the degreaser and a spray bottle. Found it. Really, it's totally awesome. Dollar Tree is also a success. LA is totally awesome, totally awesome, which was recommended by the Tacoma Wizard to be good for cleaning parts and stuff. Let's go home and start cleaning stuff. All right, so I'm currently out here taking the hubs apart, and this is just because I am trying to get the CV axles off so that I can ship them to California to get rebuilt. Hey, hi, it's been a crazy week. It is now Friday afternoon-ish, and I'm gonna show you where we're at with the, uh, with the hubs and everything. I'm basically just trying to get the CV axles out like I was explaining earlier, so I can send them to California to get rebuilt. But let's go see where we're at, and then we basically need to go to Harbor Freight. We need to get a brass drift, which is basically just like a punch, um, so that we can knock out the cone washers so that the hub assembly comes off so we can take the axles out and ship them. But let's go check it out real quick. This is where we're at. This is the hubs in the assembly, and obviously the CV axles back there, which is what we're trying to get out. So this assembly needs to come off. So there's cone washers. There's what, I don't know, six of them. So the best way to do it is to align the, the nut here and then put the brass drifter, which is basically just like a punch, on there and hit it and then the cone washer will pop out. I don't have one. I don't have a punch set yet. So we're gonna go to Harbor Freight and get one. We are finally making some progress. I've been struggling here for a bit. So I got the chisel set, you know, hit the PP blaster on the six that I showed you from earlier. And this is what we want right here. This is that cone washer. And so I was doing it wrong. I was trying to hit it like this, like into the hub. Actually, you want to hit it sideways and wiggle out the cone washer. I'm new to this. I didn't know what a cone washer was. I Googled it. I thought I knew what was going on. Basically, it's like seated in this cavity and you hit it from the side and it wiggles out. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can see we got all those cone washers out. And and this hub assembly comes off. I did already clean out the inside of there, and now we gotta figure out how to take the snap ring off. All right, welcome to the indoor shop. I had to move indoors because it is raining outside and I don't have a garage. But no worry, nothing can stop us. So this is, this is that tarp that I bought earlier in the week, and this is what I was planning on doing, but I haven't had time. And now I had to do it because it was raining. But now I went and bought the snap ring pliers with interchangeable heads. And so it's got like four different heads on there. Hopefully it works well and we can get out the guy on the inside of there. Look at this. We got one of the axles out. I was able to fan dangle the little snap ring off. Um, and then the little bushing right there. And then it is free. One of them is free, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway through. Now we just gotta repeat on this one, which should be much easier because we know what we're doing. But yeah, let's do that second one. axles out. Now the plan tomorrow is to ship it. I'm not sure how much more work I'm going to do tonight on the project as a whole, but that was the goal. That was the next big step. Really excited. Uh, let's see what else we can do. I've been doing some work for, I don't even know, who knows how long. So I started taking apart the hubs 
learning how they work and what their purpose is and all that. This is all parts from the diff, so, and then some from the hub, and then the studs. Cleaning up, that's some of the old gaskets from the manual hubs. I'm gonna wrap up this video here, because there's probably gonna be, uh, this is just a good, a good ending point. It's getting there, people. That's not the end of the video. What actually happened is that the CV axles that I got from that Tacoma, they are aftermarket. So what that means is that they're like cheap. They're not worth rebuilding. Anyway, the people that I was going to send the axles to had another set in stock. And so I bought that from them and that is what we're gonna put on the truck. Now, this is the end of the video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless, go check out the Instagram. I also have patches available. I'll put a picture of them right here. Just send me a DM on Instagram and we'll get one shipped out to you. All right, have a great day and God bless, bye. Right, Dollar Tree. Ooh.